So when you're working on the root chakra, what you're really aiming to do is to develop security. You want to feel so safe to begin your creative journey, right? The reason why is simple. If you don't feel safe to start, you never will, right? Like it makes sense that this would be the beginning of this road. I have to feel like I can even safely go on this journey before I can go on this journey. Like, of course, right? So our focus when we work on the root chakra is to make it safe for us to start our creative journey, okay? So the things that you're gonna be working through when you're working on your root chakra are fears. This is where our fears live. They live in the root chakra and they tell us all sorts of crazy things about what's safe and what's not safe. And, oh, you're gonna starve if you go in that direction or you'll die or if you go in that direction or you won't be successful if you don't risk it, don't go there. Um, they tell us a lot of things, right? And then and the goal of this energy is to try and keep us safe. But we understand that fears are usually false evidence appearing real. They usually aren't things that are actually putting us in danger, right? There aren't, isn't actually a bear in the bush. It's an imaginary bear that we have created in our minds that exists in the bush. It's going to eat us as soon as we step on our creative journey. So we're going to work through those fears. You're also going to work through feelings of lack, okay? So the root chakra is related to our financial stability and our feeling of um, safety in terms of, of um, money. And money and, and security are very closely related. They come from the root chakra. And so we need to face and deal with our feelings and beliefs as they relate to lack. And like, I don't have enough money to even buy a canvas to start or like, I need all this equipment to begin making movies. I can't just use my cell phone. Like we tell ourselves a lot of things that keep us limited, that keep us in a place of lack that we don't have enough. Either we don't have enough money, we don't have enough talent, we don't have enough support, we don't have enough resources, we don't have enough, okay? So we're working through all of that when we work on the root chakra. Past traumas that can affect your root chakra's health. And I want you to, again, take note of anything that pops in your head when I start talking about this stuff. Financial insecurity. If you have or your family has a history of financial insecurity or instability or childhood poverty, anything related to money not working out for you or not working out for your loved ones is a telltale sign that there's some root chakra stuff to work on. Um, abuse of any kind, okay, um, can tell us we are not safe. Okay, especially when it comes from someone that we were supposed to be safe around. Um, so if you have had the experience of abuse in your life, either from family members or partners later on in life, um, make note of that. Okay, maybe just put a star if you're not wanting to like write their name down or you don't want to like think about it right now, just make a little star, right? Okay, root chakra, like I've got some stuff in there that probably makes me feel not safe. So any trauma related to safety, security, finances, those sorts of things lives in your root chakra and will fester if you don't clear it out, okay? When you are moving through the root chakra portion of your creative journey, you're just starting now, right? You, you're not an established artist or musician or whatever. You're just, you're just even barely beginning, right? You're trying to figure out what you like. Like you don't even know, like you don't even probably do much more than just dabble, right? Um, so you're just starting out and you're starting building a foundation. That's what the focus of this phase of your creative journey is to build a good emotionally secure foundation 
for you to pursue your creative destiny. Um, and you might even at this point still be kind of creating in secret, like you don't tell people you're a writer, like you don't tell, like you don't advertise that you do this thing. Like maybe only a few really close friends really know that you make music or that you play guitar, you know, it's not, it's not something that you feel comfortable or safe sharing with anyone else. Um, so that sounds kind of about where you are or what you're looking for is really build that foundation. You're just barely starting out. You, you're still kind of creating in secret. You want to sort of, um, you know, make sure that you feel safe to move on and great. You're exactly where you need to be in this program. You are starting at the beginning. You are going to have such a solid foundation to move forward on. Um, if you stick with this and you really move through all the chakras and do all the healing work, your life is going to look totally different by the time you get to the crown. Like you, you won't even recognize yourself. Um, so I really am excited for you if you are starting at the root and everyone should start here, right? Even people who feel like totally secure and whatever, like there's probably some things in there. Remember, there's not a like, unhealed chakra and healed chakra, it all is on this spectrum. And so, um, and in certain situations can slide us from one end to the other of um, under expressing or over expressing that chakra. So definitely there's always an opportunity to come into greater and greater balance. What you want to really avoid at this phase of your creative journey, because you're so tender, you're so just like, you don't even feel safe yet, right? You really have to avoid comparing yourself with other people. Like this, this is not the time and place to do any kind of comparison. This is not the time and place to be thinking about outcomes or like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, you can maybe daydream a little bit about that kind of stuff. But when we're working in the root chakra, like we're not thinking about the future. We're not thinking about your potential. We're not thinking about anyone else but you and you feeling safe enough to do this like you're creating space for yourself to even get started um so it's all about you it's all about your feeling safe it's all about the present and you don't want to expect too much too soon like this isn't you know you're, you're not at the end yet you're at the beginning so really try to embrace being at the beginning um and also embrace being patient, right? And it just can be hard. I deal with like, I hate to have to be patient, but I am embracing it more and more and more. Like I would say I used to hate having to be patient. Now I really feel and trust that everything is working out in divine order and divine time and just allowing things to unfold as they are intended to. Um, and especially when you're beginning a healing process, don't uh, push yourself when you're not ready. Um, you also want to give yourself a lot of grace, right? A lot of space to mess up and to kind of not know what you're doing and give yourself that benefit of the doubt. Um, and you want to embrace investing in your creativity, which you're already doing by being here and being in this program. So check that one off the list, right? When we invest, remember how I talked about the root and financials are so, con so connected. When we invest, we take money and we say, this is important. These are my values. We start to build that part of ourselves up right? So making an investment in your creativity. And when we work on root chakra, I'm going to challenge you to do some things to invest in your creativity that might be a little uncomfortable. Um, as you do those things, you're going to start to build your confidence and feeling of safety. Um, when, when can you move on from root chakra? Well, when you feel safe to get started, when you feel like, okay, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to, I'm going to invest a little bit. I'm going to go buy a canvas. I'm going to go, you know, um, I'm going to go to the park and I'm just going to record on my phone because that's what I have. And, you know, I have this idea for this movie and I want to just do it. And I'm going to just try it. Okay. That's when you're ready to move into the sacral chakra. And of course, as I just expressed to you, you feel like I want to just try it. Well, that's the sacral chakra. <laughs>